What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are jam-packed with a lot of great features. Their build quality and design are amazing. The screen with that infinity edge-to-edge -edge display looks stunning from every angle. And all in all, I think they're easily the best phones of 2017 so far. Samsung also did a really great job when it comes to the biometrics of the S8. The different biometric authentication options refer to the different ways you can unlock your device, whether it's using your fingerprint, your eyes, facial recognition, and that's what I want to go over in this video. Generally speaking, there's actually a lot of different ways you can unlock the S8. You can, of course, keep it old school with just a standard number pin or alphanumerical password if you're into that. You can also go with a drawn unlock pattern, which has been on Android for forever. But I have a feeling most people will end up going with one of the three biometric options offered. Facial recognition, iris scanning, or the fingerprint sensor. I think it's safe to say that the fingerprint sensor has been a little controversial. It's not anything new or different, aside from where it's now located. On the very back of the S8, right next to the camera, the new placement of the fingerprint sensor coincides with the elongated display and software buttons. There is just no room for it on the front and no home button to put it on. Most phone manufacturers offer a fingerprint sensor standard on their devices, but they're all sort of placed in different spots depending on the device. The iPhone 7, for example, has Touch ID up front on the home button. It's been that way for a number of years now, and Touch ID is one of the quickest fingerprint sensors on any phone, so Apple users like myself have always been fond of it. The LG G6 has its fingerprint sensor, which doubles as a power button around back, similar to the S8, but its placement is a little different. It sits a little lower on the back of the phone, and is in a natural resting spot for your finger. It doesn't feel awkward, and I don't really have to stretch to get to it. It's just there where I expect it to be, and generally makes sense. As far as the S8 is concerned, the placement of the fingerprint sensor might not be ideal for everyone. This is the S8 Plus, and for me personally, while it was a little awkward, I did get used to it, and it hasn't been as big of an issue for me as it has for some people. My hands are kind of on the bigger side anyway, and you know what they say about a guy with big hands. You can reach the S8 Plus fingerprint sensor with no problem. The standard S8 is a little bit shorter, so reaching the fingerprint sensor on that device might be a little more comfortable. While it's not perfect, and I think some people might still take issue with it, reaching the fingerprint sensor on the regular S8 isn't that big of a deal, and in my couple weeks with the phone, it's just something I've gotten used to. Aside from all that, using the fingerprint sensor is pretty straightforward, and it's also very quick and accurate too. Nothing more to say, aside from the fact that it has pretty much been the standard for a vast majority of people for a number of years now. What is relatively new though, is the iris scanner. This was a feature that launched on the Note 7 last year before that device was pulled, but the iris scanner has returned with the S8, and it's something I was very curious about. Setting it up takes literally seconds. Using an infrared sensor and dedicated camera, your eyes are scanned pretty much instantly if you're in the right light and it's lined up correctly, and you can now unlock your S8 just by looking at it. There are some technicalities behind it. You need to make sure your eyes can clearly be seen and your phone is being held up properly. If you're wearing glasses or contact lenses, it might not be as accurate, and the other usual stuff, like keeping the camera area free of smudges, would help too. Also, unfortunately, you can only set up either the iris scanner or the facial recognition to unlock your phone. You can't run them both at the same time. You can, however, run the fingerprint sensor with either of them though, so that's a plus. Using the iris scanner to actually unlock the device is kind of weird. It's surprisingly quick and pretty accurate too, far better than the Note 7 ever was. Sometimes you'll see a little red flash on the top of the phone that shows it's looking for your eyes. Sometimes your eyes will actually pop up on the screen too to help you line everything up, but more often than not, just clicking the power button and raising your phone up unlocks the phone instantly. In my experience, it was quick and flawless probably more than 90% of the time, and that's really great. Samsung also says that the iris scanner is the most secure means of unlocking your device as well, so that's something to consider. Now, facial recognition has actually been a feature available on some select smartphones for a number of years now, but until recently, it never really caught on. Luckily, the S8's facial recognition is really good, and I think it sets the standard for other companies to follow. Setting it up, like anything else, is super simple. The front-facing camera captures your face right away, and like I mentioned, you'll have to choose between this or the iris scanner. But using facial recognition to unlock my device was even faster and more accurate than their iris scanner. And I never have any issues with the facial recognition, and it's my personal preference for unlocking the device simply because it works every single time. With that being said, there is one major issue with the facial recognition that seems kind of silly but is actually a pretty big security flaw. You can literally unlock someone's device with a picture of them. 
Yeah, that's kind of lame, and it defeats the whole purpose, obviously. So facial recognition, as cool and as quick as it is, is definitely the least secure way to go. It's awesome that Samsung has a few different options for unlocking the S8, and it definitely seems like they put a good deal of research into the different biometric authentication options. While some are definitely more secure than others, having choices is great, and even if they maybe made the wrong decision in their fingerprint sensor location, at least they're trying some new stuff with the other features. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know which way you'd use to unlock your S8 in the comments below. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.